Okay, weighing the air. I'm going to try this. I think I'll do three, three trials, but we'll see. First of all, it's nice to know what the ambient pressure is that we're talking about. Okay, 991 millibars. Uh, that's the equivalent of 99 kilopascals. And you can see the mercury equivalent if you're interested in mercury. Units, inches of mercury, that is. The red thing has a volume of 0.125 milliliters. Air weighs a gram per liter. Then that's 0.125 grams of air that it displaces. There we go. So, let's test the weight. Fifty-seven point three one. Okay. By the way, I should remind you that there's a relationship between temperature, pressure, and volume. Okay, 57.31 again. Fifty-seven point three one again. Okay. Now I'm gonna tear and put the bell jar on. Stable at zero, so let's suck out the air. This will be noisy. Something's not right. Passing 60, that's kilopascals by the way. Well, either there was more volume than I expected or the weight shifted. That's why I'm going to do multiple trials. The scale will shut off soon. There it goes. Lined up again. Scale back on. Let's test the weight. Fifty seven point three one.
57.30. Okay. Oh, 31. 30. <laughs> Make up your mind. Okay. Tear. Okay. Let's get back to suction. happened there. All right, another trial. Fifty seven point three one. Seven point three one. Let's tear. Bell jar on. Let's go back to pump. Seven point three 
This is why we do trials. 3 1, 3 2, oh, 3 1. Let me do this just one more time. It's bouncing between 3 0 and 3 1. Okay, it's settled. All right, tear, bell jar, vacuum. again, you can do it. There you go. Keep going, keep going. Maybe you can make 13. Yeah. I think the cylinder is a bit bigger than uh I think the cylinder is a little larger than I spec'd it out to be, but as you can see, uh, I'm going to move the camera up, there's what the vacuum gauge is reading, uh, focus please. So there you go. This is probably one of the most convoluted ways to weigh air that I can think of. And we're sitting at what appears to be just shy of 82 kilopascals. That's the difference in pressure between inside the jar and outside the jar. to read at the same time. I can get them in frame at the same time. It's a question of legibility. Run this full screen, folks. I'm loading it up in HD. So, hopefully we can see them both. The bigger the pressure differential is, the more work the motor has to do. And unfortunately, the motor is fixed at 24 watts, assuming it's performing as advertised.
92 millibars, 91, 90, 89, 87, 86, 85, come on, keep going, 84, 83, all right. Keep on, keep on, keep on. 82. All right, now that's definitely a record, but I started with 991. But like I said, it's the pressure differential that is the wall we're uh, climbing here. We're uh, at around 88 kilopascals of vacuum. Maybe one millibars. Okay, that looks like the best I'm going to achieve. I'm going to seal this. Just so I can video it close up. That is, take the camera off the tripod. So, I've got this meter and it's gone up to 83 already. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of a leak that makes things a whole lot more difficult. So, when we let the air in, <laughs> you can see it rushes right back to 991.